Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue rectangle and this uh, yellow rectangle put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, side length uh, BC is uh, 20 units whereas uh, this uh, side uh, AB is uh, 40 units and moreover this uh, diagonal uh, EC is uh, for this uh, blue rectangle whereas uh, this uh, AF is the diagonal for this uh, yellow rectangle and furthermore uh, this angle uh, BCE is uh, 60 degrees whereas uh, this angle uh, AFD is represented by X and now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this angle uh, X over here please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concepts. And now let's consider this triangle uh, ABC and we call this one uh, 30, 60, 90 special uh, triangle. And here we can see that this angle 30 degrees is our smallest angle and this 90 degrees is our largest uh, angle. So therefore the side opposite to this smallest angle is going to be our smallest leg whereas the side opposite to this largest angle is going to be our longest leg. So therefore in such kind of 30, 60, 90 triangle this longest leg is twice the smallest leg. In other words if the smallest leg is one unit then this uh, longest leg is going to be twice of that one is going to be two units and this third leg is going to be square root of uh, three. So therefore in general if uh, this uh, smallest leg is uh, our side uh, lowercase a then our longest leg is going to be two times uh, a and our third leg is going to be a times uh, square root of uh, three. And now let's recall the alternate uh, interior angles uh, theorem. According to this theorem, angles formed on the opposite sides of a transversal when a transversal intersects uh, two parallel lines, as you can see in this uh, given uh, diagram. And here we can see these are our two parallel lines, and this uh, red line is the transversal. Then these uh, angles, this angle and these angles are our alternate uh, interior angles and they are going to be congruent and likewise uh, these are our alternate uh, interior angles uh, as well and they are uh, congruent and now let's consider this uh, triangle uh, ABC and this triangle is going to be an isosceles uh, triangle as long as uh, this uh, side length uh, AC is going to be equal to this side length uh, BC so in such kind of isosceles uh, triangle this angle uh, is going to be congruent to this uh, angle. If this angle is alpha then this angle has got to be alpha as well. And now let's recall the triangle uh, sum theorem. The sum of three interior angles uh, in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So therefore in this uh, given triangle uh, sum of all uh, these uh, three angles uh, must be equal to 180 degrees and here's an example if this angle is 70 degrees uh, this angle is uh, 60 degrees uh, then this uh, unknown angle is going to be 50 uh, degrees such that uh, if we add all uh, these uh, three angles uh, they add up to 180 degrees isn't it and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EBC. And now we can see this is our 90 degree angle and this is our uh, 60 degree angle. And now let's recall once again this uh, triangle uh, sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of all uh, these uh, three angles uh, must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore we conclude that this uh, angle is going to be our 30 degree angle 
And now we can see that this uh, triangle ABC is our special 30, 60, 90 triangle. And here we can see BC is our smallest leg and this uh, diagonal uh, EC is our longest uh, leg. So therefore in such kind of 30, 60, 90 special triangle, this uh, longest leg is going to be twice the smallest leg. If this is uh, 20, then this uh, longest leg is going to be 40 units. So therefore we can see this our uh, diagonal EC turns out to be 40 units. And in this uh, next step I have connected uh, these points uh, F and B and as a result we got uh, diagonal uh, FB. And since we are dealing with this uh, blue rectangle EBCF, so therefore uh, this uh, diagonal FB is equal to this uh, diagonal EC. So therefore, if this uh, EC diagonal is 40 units, uh, then this uh, FB diagonal is going to be 40 units uh, as well. And furthermore, uh, this angle is going to be congruent to this uh, angle. So therefore, if this angle is 30 degrees, then this angle has got to be 30 degrees uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABF. And we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side length uh, AB is equal to this uh, side length uh, FB. Both of them are uh, 40 units. So therefore this side length uh, AB equal to this side length uh, FB. So therefore in such kind of triangle uh, this angle has got to be congruent uh, to this uh, angle. Let me call this angle alpha, then this angle has got to be alpha as well. And now let's recall the triangle sum theorem once again. According to this theorem, the sum of all these three interior angles in this uh, isosceles uh, triangle must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore I can write uh, angle alpha plus angle alpha plus uh, 30 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and combine these like terms. So we got 2 times alpha plus uh, 30 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and subtract 30 degrees from both sides. This is gone. So therefore 2 times alpha turns out to be 150 degrees on the right hand side. Let's divide both sides by 2 to isolate angle alpha. So therefore our angle alpha turns out to be 75 degrees and this is our angle alpha. So therefore our angle alpha turns out to be 75 degrees. And here's our final step. Let's recall the alternate interior angles. We know that this uh, angle and this angle they are alternate uh, interior angles and they are uh, congruent. So therefore if this angle is uh, 75 degrees uh, then this angle X has got to be 75 degrees uh, as well. So therefore we conclude that our this uh, angle uh, turns out to be 75 degrees and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.